So does it matter what kinds of politics and philosophies the people behind a GNU plus Linux distribution or other software you may be using have? Well, it is known that in the GNU plus Linux world especially, there are all kinds of philosophies on all kinds of issues. So naturally there are going to be many views and philosophies associated with all kinds of with all kinds of distributions of GNU plus Linux and all the software. But there are there can also be other unrelated politics being held political views being held by the people who make distributions of GNU plus Linux. So do they matter? Should you avoid a distribution of GNU plus Linux because the creators of that distribution have some sorts of political views that do not align with yours? Well, I say to that that inherently, just because of the views, no, I don't think you should avoid the software. I don't think you should really care about that too much. See, here's the thing. Software is a tool. Software is a lot like physical tools. You use physical tools to, physical tools to do work in the physical world, and software is a tool that runs in the digital world and does digital work on the computer. So they are tools. So if you think of it this way, do you need to care about the politics of people who made some sort of a physical tool? If someone made a tool, do you need to care about the politics of the person who made the tool? Or really, or really you can just expand this to anything else. What about the house you live in? Someone built that house. Someone constructed all the stuff. Do you need to agree with the politics of the person who built the house? Or any other stuff you use? Well, no, not really. There are all kinds of things that are just general purpose generic stuff that are just made by many people. There's really no way to agree with the politics of everyone, of, of all the things you have. And software itself is a tool. It is used to do things, work. So therefore, good software is good software. If the software is high quality and it is not actively malicious against you, so it's not malware, and given that GNU plus Linux distributions are, or at least tend to be, free libre software, you can see the source code and people can make forks and all that stuff. So if the software is high quality, there's no malware, then it's high quality software that has no malware. It is a good tool, therefore, so why should you avoid it? There's really no reason to. Unless the, on the only reason, the only reasoning why you might want to avoid it, if those people are actively hostile against you, those people who make the distribution, because of their political views, and, they, and then there's like a risk that they might put malware into the system. Well, if that's a thing, well, then it's kind of a different matter entirely because, well, if you can't trust the developers, then it doesn't matter really why you can't trust them. Someone else, some other developers of a different operating system, for an entirely different reason could put malware into their system. It doesn't need to be the political views they have. If there is software that's untrustworthy, made by people who are malicious towards their users, then it doesn't matter why they are that way. That, that's just bad software. You should avoid that just because it's bad software, not because of the politics. The politics are irrelevant. So I say you don't need to care about the political views. You need to look at the practices and the quality of the software. So if you are using a GNU plus news distribution and the people who made it hate you because of your political views or something like that, it doesn't really matter. As long as the software is high quality, it serves your purpose and there's no malware or anything like that, then it's good software. So at that point, if some highly politically driven people, they start make putting malware in their system, like I just said, you know, it doesn't really matter why they do that. You know, everyone should avoid that software. Even if you agree with the here's the thing, yeah, even if you agree with those politics, you should still avoid that software. If the 
maintainers of a distribution start putting malware in there, well, everyone should avoid it. It doesn't matter, the politics are irrelevant. They just don't matter at all. Even if you agree with the values and philosophies and views of the people who make the distribution, you should still avoid the software that's malware. You should still avoid it, because it's bad. Malware is bad. I don't care why it's put into the distribution. If, if there's malware in the distribution, I don't use it. So that's my take on it. I see software as being no different from any other physical tool or thing I might use. I don't need to agree with the politics of the people who made physical tools. As long as the tools are of high quality and there's no uh, what would be the equivalent of malware in the tool, some sort of a remote controlling thing that controls the tool remotely and then it hurts me because the creators have differing political views. Like, as long as there's none of that, then a high quality tool is a high quality tool. So, good software is good software. You can see the source code yourself, and so can everyone else. So, all the benefits of software, when it comes to all the, all the benefits of free Libre software, that are basically well known at this point, the fact that the source code is available, if there's any malware put in there, you can see it and people can report it and make forks and all that, all that still applies. So if someone puts malware in there, it really doesn't matter why they put it there. Yeah, it's still free software, it's still liberal software that people can inspect the source code of and modify for their purposes. If they don't like that malware, they can get rid of it. Someone can make a fork without the malware of a distribution of GNU plus Linux that has malware in it for some reason. So yeah, that's it for this speech. Yeah, I don't don't care about the politics. Just forget about it. Software is software, so yeah. Unless, there's, unless the software is actively hostile against you, then there's nothing wrong with it. So yeah, thanks for listening, until next time, bye.